Hi YouTube, um, I've been posting up quite a lot of videos recently on various things um, but I keep quite a lot of animals um, mainly kind of reptiles and amphibians and invertebrates uh, and small mammals um, so check out my other videos to see more uh, this particular video is going to be about gargoyle geckos, um, Rachidactylus auriculatus. Um, so if you just have a look down here, um, this is uh, an egg box. Uh, this is how I keep my eggs. Um, so if I just open this lid, there you go, you can see I've just had this little hatchling. Um, and this is an orange striped one. Got some nice banding on the back. It's pretty dark background colour as well. So I'm hopeful this will be quite a nice um, breeder. I'm ho at the moment I'm hoping for females, but if it ends up being a male, I won't mind either, because I'll just be able to breed from it. So you can see they're very tiny when they first hatch out. I mean, see the size of the egg there that it's just come from. So the partner egg. Is just next to it here so I'm hopeful that that one should hatch hopefully today or tomorrow um, I'll just put this lid back on for a second um, so yeah I keep them in and um, this white stuff is called perlite um, and you keep it just slightly damp um, but hardly any kind of moisture at all uh, the reason that I keep all this sort of tape on the top there's a very fine mesh in here I'll show you the other side Okay, it's quite, this is quite an old box now, but you can see it's got very fine mesh. Um, but it was too, it's letting too much of the moisture out. So the tape just keeps the moisture in a bit. Um, and there's just a few tiny squares left um, for ventilation. Um, and what's really good about this mesh is that it's so fine, it keeps tiny little flies out um, because you can get these little. Um, uh, I think they're called scorid flies, and they, they go in and they basically lay their eggs on your eggs. And these little tiny maggots uh, hatch out onto your eggs, and they can do damage to your eggs. So um, I, I hate those little things. <laughs> so I used to keep a lot of my eggs just in moss on the side um, in a tub, but now I keep them in perlite instead because it's just cleaner. Um, and you just keep them at room temperature and yeah they hatch out um, pretty much all the time actually so that's a little baby I'm just going to quickly show you as well um, an adult I've just got her in a cricket tub at the moment just to just so I can show you she's not particularly happy to be in there but I'll put her straight back into her enclosure after this video it's really just to show you what an adult looks like um, and to show you the uh, size difference here she is. Um, so you can see she's got some slight kind of orange banding, but she's um, she's not as colourful as what I'm hoping for. So I'm sort of line breeding them uh, and hoping that I will get some really nice kind of orange and red um, patterned ones eventually. Um, the male that I've got for this one looks quite similar to her actually. So just a little kind of hint of orange but not much and again it's striped. So I do occasionally, like I was hoping all of my babies would be striped but um, I've had uh, a few reticulated ones as well. Um, so yeah this species, Gargoyle Gecko, um, Rachidactylus uh, auriculatus and then they're quite similar to uh, Crested Geckos which I keep as well um, and I breed a lot of crested geckos, they're, they're probably the thing that I hatch out the most. Um, and uh, they used to be called Rachidactylus ciliatus, uh, but now they're called uh, Corellophus ciliatus instead. I hate that when they change scientific names, you know, just as you remember them, <laughs> they, they change them to something else. But anyway, I'm sure there's a logical reason for it. So yeah, th these, I think I prefer actually the gargoyle geckos, they're just like a chunkier kind of gecko. Um, it used to be, when I bred them like years ago, that they would only go for about the same sort of price as a crested gecko. Um, now they seem to go maybe sort of double or triple the price of a um, hatching crested gecko. So yeah, so I definitely would like to get a line of these 
um, going in the future. Okay, so if you like this sort of thing, check out my other videos because uh, I've got a lot of um, different animals, like I say. There's uh, a three-banded armadillo that I keep, um, and he's lovely, so you might want to check that out. Uh, hit subscribe, and then anything that I hatch out in the future, um, you can see it straight away. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.